no other planet in the solar system reaches the dimensions of mighty Jupiter. With a diameter of 89,000 miles, the gas giant trumps that of our Earth by a factor of 11. In theory, our blue home planet would fit more than 1,300 times into the cosmic giant. At the same time, Jupiter has about twice the mass of all the other planets in our home system combined. At an average distance of 483 million miles from the Sun, Jupiter regularly becomes the scene of elemental processes. Extreme weather phenomena occur again and again on the volatile surface of the celestial body, sometimes presenting themselves as strikingly long-lived. By far the most famous cyclone on the largest member of our planetary system is the Great Red Spot. In fact, experts have been observing this gigantic structure for several centuries. And yet the oversized anticyclone continues to pose unsolvable riddles to the experts to this day. What we have been able to find out about the Great Red Spot so far, and what mysteries still remain to be unraveled, you can find out in today's video. Excited about groundbreaking discoveries and distinctive spectacles in the universe? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click the bell for regular updates on these exciting topics. By giving us a thumbs up, you're motivating us and showing that we can keep you engaged with the content of our posts. The Gas Colossus As mentioned at the beginning, Jupiter is something like the king of our planetary system. No other member comes close to the imposing dimensions of this galactic giant. While the date of discovery of other celestial bodies can be quantified to the day, this is somewhat more complicated in the case of Jupiter. However, it's certain that scholars of antiquity were able to calculate the 12-year orbit of the gas colossus exactly. Named after the main god of Roman mythology, Jupiter was first examined with a telescope in 1610 by Galileo Galilei, who summarily tracked down the four largest satellites, Ganymede, Callisto, Io, and Europa. The deployment of many unmanned space probes, which began to observe the celestial body in the early 1970s, finally raised our knowledge of Jupiter to a completely new level. As the official designation gas planet already reveals, the cosmic giant has no solid surface, but is composed almost exclusively of gases. In the deeper planetary regions, the gas envelope changes into a supercritical state. In the heart of the celestial body, however, the experts suspect a solid core of ice and rock, which exceeds the mass of the Earth by a factor of 20. Viewed from the outside, Jupiter greets us in a wide variety of colors. In detail, these colorful components are cloud bands and vortices, which give the gas giant its distinctive stripe pattern. The main components of the upper gas layers are hydrogen and helium. The chemical composition is completed by small amounts of methane and ammonia. The brighter bands of the planet are called zones, while their darker counterparts are called belts. With regard to the zones, scientists suspect that their lighter coloration is due to the ammonia ice they contain. Why the belts present themselves clearly darker has yet to be discovered. In principle, however, the experts assume that these areas contain sulfur, phosphorus, and possibly hydrocarbons. In view of the fact that the zones and belts run continuously along different latitudes, one could think that the volatile conditions of the gas giant do not allow long-lived constructs. But the exact opposite is true. The existence of the colossal Great Red Spot has been posing insurmountable hurdles to experts for several centuries. Great Red Spot It is difficult to reconstruct exactly when the history of observation of this enormous structure began. It is certain that astronomers of the 17th century already noticed a conspicuous spot on the gas giant, but it's unclear whether this was also the Great Red Spot. However, it's certain that the first confirmed description dates back to 1831. Thus, the structure has a confirmed age of more than 190 years. Located in the southern tropical zone of Jupiter, the diameter of the Great Red Spot exceeds that of our Earth by 1.5 times. The mysterious storm reaches wind speeds of up to 423 miles per hour. With its impressive size and unparalleled longevity, 
The structure is unique among the storms of our solar system. Although the object has been studied many times since the early 1970s by unmanned spacecraft such as Voyager, Galileo, and Cassini, there is still no generally accepted thesis that can fully explain the Great Red Spot. What we do know, however, is that despite its persistence, the storm system undergoes profound changes again and again. This begins with its coloring. Sometimes the construct presents itself in a brick red, other times salmon-colored or even orange. It's not known why the anticyclone has this color spectrum of all things. The corresponding attempts at explanation begin with phosphorus and sulfur compounds and end with organic material. But also, the circulation time and the size of the storm vary. From the observation history of the past decades, it is clear that the object contracts and expands again from time to time. The structure reached an extent of about 10,100 miles five years ago. In the 19th century, the structure was three times as large. Questions and Explanation Attempts The fact that the Great Red Spot has existed for at least 190 years is undoubtedly due to its enormous dimensions. However, despite all scientific observations, there is still no incontestable theory that could explain the energy source or the stability of the structure. Before this cosmic mystery can be solved, some basic research has to be done. Accordingly, the experts must find out why the spot has a red color and why its orbital velocity is so variable and yet so constant in latitude. Questions as to why only one spot of this size exists and how the material exchange with the surrounding structures takes place in detail are still waiting for answers. The corresponding proposals go back to the 19th century. Already in 1881, C.W. Howe attracted attention when he introduced the so-called raft theory. According to this theory, the Great Red Spot drifted like a kind of raft in the upper atmospheric layers of Jupiter and would be composed mainly of solid water forms. As a result of the Coriolis force, a so-called Taylor column would form. As soon as a solid object moves through a rotating fluid container, the object carries with it a relatively stagnant column of fluid whose orientation is parallel to the axis of rotation. Consequently, Jupiter's large spot would be located at a latitude that provides optimal conditions for the formation of a Taylor column. However, this first attempt does not explain why such a structure occurs only once on the gas giant. If one follows the remarks of the researcher Philip Marcus, then the enormous dimensions of the storm object can be explained with the fast rotation speed of the planet, its special atmospheric characteristics, and the characteristics of the east-west winds. Patrick Irwin, in turn, discusses four conceivable formation mechanisms. A barotrophic shear, which means that the density of the air depends exclusively on the pressure. A baroclinic shear, or in other words, that the density depends also on the temperature. A local forcing, which goes back, for example, to humid convections. And last but not least, the interception of smaller cyclones. This could explain the background of the formation of the Great Red Spot. But what gives it its incessant drive remains unanswered. The capture of smaller vortices would cause their momentum to be deposited in the outer regions of the object as well. This circumstance would be consistent with the observed width of the rings, which settle at values between 180 and 310 miles. Another hypothesis is based on the assumption that the spot was born spontaneously due to the low frictional forces of the gas giant. In this case, the structure could be regarded as a kind of gigantic flywheel, which cannot be slowed down by the weak frictional forces of the atmosphere. The James Webb Space Telescope demonstrated a few weeks ago how impressive the study of Jupiter will be in the future. The complex instrument recently turned its technical gaze to the gas giant, presenting the cosmic colossus to us in a completely new light. And this can be taken quite literally. On Webb's infrared image, the large spot does not appear in its namesake red, but as a strikingly bright structure. In the corresponding image, this is the case because the high, dense clouds of the impressive structure reflect an extremely large amount of radiation. And it's exactly this new perspective that should help to uncover the true background of the persistent storm system in the foreseeable future. 
The mix of images and spectra from the near to mid-infrared range will allow researchers to look more closely than ever at the interactions of chemistry, dynamics, and temperature. As experts gain new insights into the Great Red Spot, we'll let you know on our channel. And now it's your turn. What do you think about Jupiter's Great Red Spot and the unanswered questions that have always accompanied the storm system? As always, write us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more exciting contributions on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.